Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hey everyone, and welcome back to DJ's Aviation. It's felt like a while since I said that, and you may be wondering why. Well, this is actually the first time I've recorded a video in over a month. My rambling will indeed be short and sharp, but I do have Wi-Fi now officially set up in my flat in central London, and I'm now back to regular uploads of news content, which I think you all are probably excited for. We begin today with something that took place at the end of last month, which did interest me greatly, that being the delivery of the first A350-1000 to British Airways. This video acts as the completion of a full circle of my step-by-step -step coverage for the delivery of the type with the airline. As you may be aware, British Airways is celebrating its 100th birthday this year, and actually this month specifically, which is August for anyone coming to watch this video, say potentially next year or in the coming months. With the arrival of the first of 18 A350-1000, it really is what many are calling a changing of the guard. The arrival highlights the beginning of a new transitional phase of next generation aircraft coming in and helping replace its now aging types, like the Boeing 747. You may also be aware that the airline has now ordered the Boeing 777X. That order went through earlier this year as well. Matched with the Boeing 787 and of course now the A350-1000, British Airways will look to up their game with better cabins and of course better efficiency, all aiding them in performing to a higher standard and hopefully saving more money in an industry which as we know is incredibly demanding when it comes to costs and airlines are always looking to cut the costs wherever possible. Thankfully with brand new technology, more and more airlines can purchase aircraft that are efficient. Moving back to the A350-1000 though, British Airways has kitted out their aircraft with an all new Club World suite. 56 seats have been installed onto the A350. The type comes in a three class layout with 56 World Traveller Plus seats and finally 219 World Traveller Economy seats. These two are of course on top of the 56 Club World suites that I did just mention. The type is going to be seen on services from London to Madrid and back prior to next month being implemented on long haul routes. This is where it'll truly make its mark. The type is flying to Madrid purely for crew familiarization services and it offers aviation enthusiasts across Europe a great opportunity to fly short haul on the brand new aircraft. I would just like to mention as I do conclude this video, I do apologise if there is any background noises, however being in London generally there is quite a lot of noise, whether it be police, ambulance, buses, trucks, people screaming or something else, but I'll do everything in my power post editing to try and block out any of those noises. With that being said, thank you very much for your patience over the past month. I know uploads probably weren't as good and maybe didn't interest you as much. I certainly noticed with the views going 90% down, but hopefully you do enjoy this new content and in the future you will continue to watch. With that being said, thanks very much and I do look forward to you all joining me in the next one.